Hi, I'm Mike Cohn. Welcome to Scrum Foundations. One of the first things you need to understand about Scrum is that we tend to think of it as a framework rather than a methodology or process. What's the difference? A methodology or process is much more complete. A methodology or process will specify essentially everything about how work should be performed when using that approach. For example, a methodology might specify exactly how testing and quality assurance should be performed. Or it might specify how a team should go about gathering requirements for a new product. A framework, on the other hand, is purposefully incomplete. Scrum, for example, has an artifact called the product backlog, which is essentially a prioritized features list. Scrum is absolutely silent on how the product backlog comes into existence. It could be delivered to the team by little green men on a spaceship, as far as Scrum is concerned. Similarly, Scrum says a team needs to produce high-quality work, but doesn't say how the team is to achieve that. Things like these are left to the team because the team owning its own process is a critical success factor for Scrum. A team is going to be much more bought into a way of working if they contribute to determining that way of working. So Scrum is a deliberately incomplete framework to which each team adds whatever is necessary given that team's context. Scrum takes the position that the team knows best how it should work and provides tremendous flexibility for teams to choose what needs to be added to make the Scrum framework into an appropriate methodology for that team. I want to caution you, however, about removing things from Scrum. As a framework, Scrum is very small, but the things that are there have been shown to work over and over again. Be very careful about deciding to remove something, especially before you have sufficient experience to make very educated guesses about how removing that thing from Scrum will affect the other parts of Scrum. In a nutshell, Scrum is a series of events that happen over a defined period of time called a sprint. Those events are repeated every sprint. If Scrum is so simple, why is it so difficult to implement? Because it's fundamentally different than how most of us are used to working. It's change, and change is hard.